Hi! I tried the Fly Lady cleaning method for one day not too long ago and I liked it. Did I like it enough to keep up with it? Um, I wish, but no. It was a little too complex for my little brain. There were a ton of steps even after I dumbed it down and made my Fly Lady cleaning method for dummies version. Apparently still too dumb for that. <laughs> Plus, some of the tasks I just didn't find to be value added or the order of things just weren't how I like to clean. So I have formed my own dummy proof easy weekly cleaning routine and that is what we are going to be doing today. I am calling it my weekly home reset slash weekly panic clean because we are doing it under a time constraint of one and a half hours. I plan on doing this on Mondays after the weekend because the house definitely needs a solid reset after a carefree, careless weekend. The weekly home reset will include six tasks, which I will be doing in a very specific order, starting with toilets. Your home can look immaculate, but if the bathroom looks and smells like a truck stop, then that's the whole vibe of your home and not the vibe I am going for. Things go downhill pretty quickly in my home too, living in a house full of boys, so this has to be a weekly task for me. Next is pick up slash put away. This is simply getting crap off the floor and counters and putting it back in their proper home. That proper home in my home oftentimes is a trash can. I am constantly reminding my children where the trash cans are in my house and I'm starting to wonder if I need to get their hearing checked. Third step is the wipe down. Once all the counters are cleared, you can easily wipe everything down. All the crumbs, all the crap can go onto the floor because step four then is vacuum. After vacuuming is mopping. Then last task of the home reset is taking out the trash. Now for each of those six tasks in that very specific order, I am going to give myself 15 minutes to complete. So in total, I will complete the weekly home panic clean in an hour and a half and basically get my workout in for the day because I'm going to be really having to hustle to get it done in that amount of time. So let's get it started with the toilets. But before I get the timer set, I am going to install this brand new squatty potty toilet cleaning brush that TikTok convinced me to buy. All right, I connected it together. I'll admit it took me longer than I'd like to admit to get this part connected, but I, I got it. So now let's install it behind here. It's gotta go on the other side because there's some weird wiring back there. All right, fits perfectly there. Yeah, you can't even see it. Let me, let me get the camera up. All right, can you see it back there? The brush goes in here. There it is. It's completely hidden. When you need it, it just pops out of the side. You can use it and then put it back there and hidden out of the way. Magic. But now let's truly get to step one. Let's set my timer to 15 minutes and we're gonna speed clean these bathrooms. I have three bathrooms to clean. So I just realized I, it makes more sense for me in order to keep track of time. I set my little egg timer thing to five minutes. So. Once I run up to my five minutes, I gotta move on to the next bathroom to ensure I get all three. Wiping everything down with an antibacterial wipe, including the toilet seat connector thingamabob, I can't remember what it's called, but bacteria loves accumulating here and it's a sneaky smelly mess, so always wipe that area down. The Invisibrush seems to work just like it should. And this is a hack that I learned from TikTok. Use your now sanitized toilet seat to hold the wet toilet brush in place so it can air dry before storing. Five minutes up, moving to the next bathroom. I didn't have toilet bowl cleaner in here, but this kaboom works just fine. It sprays on purple and when sanitized, it turns white. And now I remember why there is no toilet bowl cleaner in here. That's cause I'm using the last of my disposable toilet wands and the last are in this bathroom. So technically, I didn't need to spray the toilet down with the kaboom. These are super convenient. I do like them, but I know it's not the most eco-friendly. So trying to use reusable brushes going forward after I run out of the refills of this. Third bathroom and we're on time, taking out all the textile items to throw in the laundry. Now with five minutes per bathroom, are they perfectly clean? No but they are a hell of a lot better off than if I didn't take five minutes to speed clean each of them. A deeper cleaning of the bathrooms can be a monthly task. At least the vibe of my home is no longer truck stop, so I'm good. The goal of this weekly panic clean is to methodically take 90 minutes to get my home into a stage where I don't feel overwhelmed with what needs to be done. Then bigger tasks can be conquered because I don't feel like I have a million other things I should be doing at a minimum. All right, it only took me 15 minutes 
minutes to clean each of my three bathrooms. Five minutes a piece. I don't know why I don't clean my bathrooms as often as I should. So again, glad I am implementing this weekly reset. So next on the weekly home panic clean slash reset is pick up slash put away. So I'm going to do exactly that. I am going to pick up the crap all over the floor, put it in its proper home, which again is most likely the trash can. And if it doesn't belong in the trash can, I will find a great place for it to live permanently because it does not belong on the floor. Already seen lots of trash. Now this was by far the best workout of the whole cleaning routine because there was a lot of stuff out of place. And in order for me to do the next tasks, the counters and floors need to be cleared. So I was mad dashing all over to get this done. Sadly, this scrub daddy dish wand is going in the trash. I really didn't like the shape of it and using it. I like a lot of scrub daddy products, but this one just wasn't working for me. They thought out so much that could have made this great, but just the shape of it doesn't jive with how I like to clean things. I much prefer my OXO or OXO little hand scrubber that's full of soap also. The mad dash continues. I feel like picking up crap is part of my undocumented daily routine, but maybe it's a random space here and there as I'm doing other things. This dedicated 15 minutes as part of a once a week routine is great because knowing all I need to get done in a time constraint kicks in the adrenaline and I feel like I'm superwoman getting way more done than I normally would when I'm just leisurely picking up mundane messes. Because despite having a ton of cleaning content on my channel and on my Instagram and TikTok, cleaning is not my favorite thing to do. I'd like to get it done as quickly as possible so I can do things I enjoy like nothing. I like sitting around and doing nothing. There is freaking Kleenex everywhere. And I like doing nothing in a clean-ish home. So cleaning hacks to save time and money and systems to get it done in less time are preferable to me. If you have cleaning hacks or tips that you'd like to share, always please let me know in the comments below or send me a DM on Instagram. This little fort tent you're about to see here, um, one of my sons has been sleeping in here every night for the last week. And you know what? He's been sleeping amazing. So if him sleeping in a tent is what we gotta do for the whole family to get good rest, then he will sleep in the tent. 15 minutes is up. I got most things picked up, except I wasn't able to get to the bedrooms. Essentially, I was able in 15 minutes to pick pick up the common areas, but my kids' bedrooms are not picked up. I'm going to have that be their responsibility. And then also my own bedroom is not cleaned up. So that is going to be my responsibility for later. As long as I've gathered all the clothes, let's do one of my daily tasks, which is a load of laundry a day. These kids' clothes smell awful because it's a mix of Texas sweatiness and pool clothes and dirt. So adding our normal free and clear powder laundry detergent and some OxyClean to get the stink and soil stains out. All right, one third of the way done. Even though I wasn't able to pick up everything in my entire house in 15 minutes, I got all of the common areas done. So next, now that everything is picked up off of the floor and off of the counters in the main area, the next 15 minutes are for wiping everything down. In my kitchen, I'm going to use this Active Clear by CLR. Like full disclosure, they have sponsored me in the past, but this is not sponsored. Wish it was, but it's not. It, I like it because it's a probiotics cleaner, so it's natural ingredients and the probiotics clean for three days after you use it. Which I'm not getting around to wiping everything down every single day, so I like feeling like it's still cleaning for a few days after I do. For just all the other areas of my house outside of my kitchen that might have wood or more gentle surfaces, I'm using this, what is it? Blue Land Cleaner. Another full disclosure, they have sponsored me in the past. This is not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored. Wish it was, it's not. Just free promo for everyone today and I get nothing. But I get a clean house at the end of this, so that's good with me. Now typically when I do extreme clean with me is I clear everything off the counters before I wipe them down, but with only 15 minutes to spare and trying to get as much wiped down in my entire house as possible, I I am not moving absolutely everything. I am just doing good enough, which is good enough for me. The one thing with this Active Clear CLR cleaner that I have gleaned after using it for quite some time is after you wipe it down, you really have to have it be completely dry. 
Otherwise, it kind of, the little, I don't know if it's the probiotics or the gel or something in it, kind of gathers and it looks dirty still. So you really have to wipe it down till it is completely dry so that doesn't happen. Just wiping everything onto the floor because after this, the next step is vacuuming. I've said this multiple times in past videos, but for any new friends out there, this table looks like wood and was formerly a wood surface, but we shellacked it with a polyurethane coating a couple years ago so that it was easier to clean and so that the real wood didn't get destroyed by my messy kids grinding food into the porous fibers of the wood. So I know I said you can't use CLR on wood and technically this isn't cleaning wood, it's cleaning a polyurethane coat. For one of the few real wood items in my house, I'm using an actual wood cleaner. So as I'm wiping down these spaces, it's making me realize how cluttered and messy some of the spaces are. So I'm adding it to a list of things to address later on this week, hopefully. Yep, lots of real messy spaces here for me to address later on. But as of now, my goal is to just wipe down and conquer. You know, at least, at least, I'm wiping, wiping it down, getting all the dirt and grime off. All right, I know I'm not supposed to find trash and throw stuff away right now, but I just, I just have to because I could do it really fast. Okay, the buzzer just went off as I was walking upstairs, but I want to wipe down at least something upstairs. This whole wipe down thing is taking a lot longer than I originally anticipated. We're doing mediocre jobs here because technically I'm supposed to be done. I'm a minute over time. Next on the docket is vacuuming. Now I am enlisting my little friend, Baby Shark here to help me in vacuuming the kitchen. While little Baby Shark cleans the kitchen, I'm going to do my best to vacuum as much carpeting as possible. So let's get started. Let me set up Baby Shark. All right, Baby Shark, clean all the hardwood areas. Let's go. Recently, I've noticed a few people asking how we keep the white carpeting so white in my house. And I'ma tell you, first off, this is relatively new carpeting. We got it in 2020, so don't pat me on the back too hard. It's not like I've maintained this for 10, 20 years, but I also don't allow my kids to have any drinks other than water up here. We don't wear shoes on the carpeting either or really anywhere in our house, but we especially do not allow shoes on our carpeting. And I didn't allow any food up here for probably the first year that we got the new carpeting. Now I've gotten a little more lenient because I like eating food and watching TV in our TV room. So I allow dry snacks like chips and popcorn and things that are easy to vacuum up because I know it will inevitably end up on the floor. But no sloppy foods and doing those simple things have helped keep the carpeting white along with the occasional spot treatment cleanings right when I notice a stain. Still keeping that little sleep set up for my son because I value my sleep enough to let him sleep here because he sleeps soundly for whatever reason in this dingy little encampment. Hoping it gets old soon, I have a teeny bit of time left and I'm gonna try to vacuum my bedroom with that little bit of time. Baby Shark unfortunately couldn't do all the hardwood floors in 15 minutes, so I got my stick vacuum and quickly took care of the kitchen so that we could have a crumb-free floor prepared for the next step, which is mopping. Using my O Cedar Spin Mop for the final step of cleaning the floors today and cleaning hack, I am adding roughly a teaspoon of laundry detergent to the water as it works great for cleaning floors affordably. Thank you to everyone who advised me in my DMs on Instagram that you could buy this bucket for $125 at Dollar Tree and it fits in 
perfectly into the original less expensive O-Cedar spin mop bucket, which is obviously the one I own. I pondered spending the money and getting the double bucket one because it just seems like it's cleaner to have a dual bucket, one for the clean water, one for the dirty water. So I'm glad that instead of paying the $45 to upgrade it, I spent just the $125 to get this bucket to go into my existing spin mop. Now it does kind of interfere with the spinning. Maybe I have too much water in here. Let me pour some out. But it's lighter. Maybe it won't interfere with the spin. Okay, you fill it up too full. It pushes too much on this and it won't spin. So just empty it out and you're good. When I feel like doing an amazing job mopping my floors, I pull out this spin mop. But for lazy days or days when I have only two to five minutes to mop, but there are muddy footprints running from our back door to the bathroom, I mostly use my Swiffer with the disposable wet flat mop heads. It's easy, it's fast, it's good enough, which is good enough for me. I love this spin mop, but I don't use it nearly as much as I use just a quick Swiffer. All right, I'm a quick mop this tiny bathroom. Even though technically the buzzer just rang, I'm going to put this dry thing back here. And I must say props to the Swiffer wets and using those frequently in between the O-Cedar cleanings because my O-Cedar water was really not as dirty as it's been in the past. Whew, I am working up a sweat. This is definitely an allowable substitute for working out for the day. Now, between the extra time I took for vacuuming and mopping, technically I only have about six minutes to get the trash and I think that's more than enough time. Let's go. Last person who did the trash, I'm not naming names, did not put liners back in. And I'm not naming names for a reason because technically it was me. I forgot that it was trash day. It was a bad dash to get all the trash out of the house. And then I did get all the trash out, fortunately, in the nick of time. But then I had to take the kids to school. We were busy, yada, yada, yada. So yet another reason why it's good to have a designated time to take care of the trash around the house when it's not five minutes before the trash truck gets here. That is a disturbing smell coming from the trash. Oh my God, one of my, okay. I really should be wearing gloves for this, but one of my kids put like dirty poop toilet paper in here. So this is taking more than the five minutes because now I am gonna go rinse this out outside. You know what, more than just, the whole thing, the whole thing has to be rinsed out outside. Oh, that smells. The worst. Did not include the sounds of me literally gagging as I discovered this stinky mess. Cut that out in editing. I know hearing gagging sounds for me is a trigger to start gagging and I didn't want to trigger anyone else, but it was disgusting. Believe me on that. I used dish soap and OxyClean to get it clean and deodorized, then let it air dry in the sun before lining it and putting it back in the bathroom. Ooh, okay, the trash did take longer than 15 minutes and I didn't even get to take care of all of it because of the trash poop mageddon that needed to be addressed. As a parent, did I think I would need to tell my kids not to put dirty poop, wet toilet paper in the trash can on more than one occasion? No, but I guess this is the excitement of parenting. Your kids are always keeping you on your toes. But overall, that type of trash situation is not a weekly event and I know I could get the trash done in probably eight to 10 minutes. So I think that today was a success. My house looks 10 times better than it did when I started today and it only took an hour and a half. Am I going to have to do more cleaning throughout the week and on a daily basis? Obviously, I do a load of laundry every single day. I'm constantly, it seems, cleaning my kitchen every single day since I'm using it every single day. Then there's always random tasks to tackle throughout the week. I have cleaning things that I do more on a monthly basis, like my dusting and some of the more extreme detailed cleaning. Before a weekly clean, I feel like this is very thorough, but still does not take an extreme amount of time. It's very doable to do this every single Monday. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, is this shittier than the fly lady method? Equal, like, do you think this would work better for you? Obviously I'm biased, this, I made this up for myself, so this is the system that I think works best for me, but I'm always looking to improve, so if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna keep hanging out, I have shopping videos, cleaning videos, decluttering videos, I will have playlists floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.